Whether you're an absolute beginner or an experienced old hack in the aquarist hobby, Java Fern is bound to be your best friend in the tank at some stage. Keep watching to find out more. Characteristics As their name might suggest, they're native to Southeast Asia. Think the island of Java, but definitely not anything to do with your morning coffee and beans as such. This plant is happy to be fully immersed in the water, but is equally able to thrive if only partially submerged. They belong to a type of plant called rhizomatous. Rhizomatous plants are able to propagate in any direction from a modified stem that sits below ground and send out shoots above ground and roots below on runners. Java ferns primarily use their roots as anchors, and they aren't too fussed about being in soil. They anchor onto rocks, decor driftwood, and other debris in the wild or your tank. These rhizomes and roots must always be submerged, or the plant will dry out and die. The beauty of this plant is that it looks lush and vibrant no matter what you throw at it. Yet the freshwater fish, who enjoy nibbling on vegetation, will not decimate your underwater forest. They require little in the way of light, special CO2 supply, or extra fertilization to keep them happy and healthy. Java ferns are slow growing, have an appealing shape, and propagate easily. Appearance. The leaves of java fern will vary in appearance depending on where you sourced them from and, therefore, where they're native to. But they are long, slim leaves, only a few inches wide, but substantially longer in contrast as they mature. They tend to have a waxy or toughened leathery appearance and can vary in the brightness or depth of green color they display. Older leaves can have brownish-black bumps present. Leaves can reach a length of a foot long. The rhizome parts of the plant look like roots, so brown but thin, with the runner-like offshoots that attach to the surface surfaces aforementioned. The root itself is fuzzier and does the actual anchoring. The rhizome absorbs the majority of water and nutrients needed to survive. Java fern can reach heights of around two feet and have a six to eight inch spread in diameter. This enables just one or two plants to have a high impact in smaller tanks at full maturity. But remember, it's a slow grower and you usually purchase them at the three to four inch height at suppliers. Tank requirements. These plants are often found near moving water systems, so they enjoy a current. Beyond that, these ferns will enjoy whatever else you throw at it, within reason. The smallest tank size you should attempt to grow one in would be around 10 gallons. Lighting should be standard, nothing too bright, or it can actually cause browning of the leaves. The best pH range is around 6 or 7, with a water hardness of about 3 to 8 dGH. No special filtration is required, and they don't need special substrate or supplementation for healthy growth. In fact, if you're aiming for a substrate-free tank, this fern is your new best friend. They don't need any of it to thrive because they get everything from the water. This is a plant that can handle most temperatures successfully, from cold water right up to the most tropical of conditions. But their sweet spot hovers around the 68 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit for maximum fern happiness and growth. Because these ferns are slow growing, they won't strip your tank of nutrients and will keep water conditions quite stable, helping absorb the nasties like nitrates while they're at it. For more info, visit our site today. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.